Published 1230 the 25th of October 2017 Stephen Sumner Sidbury Primary School. Copyright Google Maps Street View Arch and Early Years Pupils are set to gain a new classroom at Sidbury Primary School, despite residents' fears it is taking over the village. Villagers objected with claims the development would worsen flooding and the gridlock on key roads at peak times, but the plans were backed by the Environment Agency A and the County Highway Authority. The government is also pushing for good schools to be expanded. The application, for a building with toilets, a group room and a cloakroom, includes an external play area with raised decking, a new ramp and a new hall store. It cited an AI assessment that judged Sidbury Primary School to be one of the most at risk of flooding in Devon, but said it was not viable to relocate. Residents Mr. and Mrs. Soden objected, saying the proposed building would be on a floodplain that has flooded in the past. It causes gridlock on what is a main road through the village. We understand some children travel from Ottery St. Mary and Honiton. Why are there not enough schools there for their pupils? Our village school has lost its identity along the way. Rob Drew said parents and school buses regularly block the roads and the small car park, preventing passing trade from parking. He added the school needs to consider the locals a bit more, not take over the village. Jillian Bengao added the school is quite big enough for a village of this size and I dread to think what the parking will be like if it gets bigger. Residents on the main street say a child will be killed before anyone takes any notice. An East Devon District Council officer acknowledged that the site is at high risk of flooding and the development would add to the congestion and parking problems, but said the government backs the expansion of good schools. Approving the scheme, the officer added the school is rated as good by Ofsted and its expansion is supported by the local education authority. In view of the lack of objection from the AA, the Highway Authority and Sport England, there are no overriding reasons why planning permission should be refused. According to the application, the school, rated good by Ofsted inspectors, has gone from strength to strength and grown from fewer than 80 pupils five years ago to 150 today.